on guys, this is Rock. Today I'm going to show you one of my many various airsoft guns that I own. Um, this particular model is a what they call the GMP MRP Long. Uh, basically it is a um, fully traded Lewis machining tool with the monolithic rail platform upper. Um, that's why it's called MRP. If you look over here on this side, it's got the full Lewis machining tool trades um, as well as your QD mounts on both sides. The rail is completely monolithic. Uh, got your gas block and your gas tube in there already. All that stuff was already in there. I didn't have to add it. That's just the quality of, of GMP as they work. Um, functioning uh, dust cover as well. Uh, just your normal selector switch, I guess. Nothing too fancy there. But uh, there's nothing in this gearbox is stock. Um, Maybe the uh, the bearings. That's about it. Other than that, um, it's got an NK high torque motor from the SR25, uh, a system core piston, which are nearly indestructible, um, a Lonex POM piston head, a Lonex cylinder head. So the compression on this thing is up there, definitely, absolutely. But uh, it's shooting around 375, 380. Um, there's a Mad Bull a 603, 455 in there, so it'll shoot past 200 all day. Um, also got uh, some Mad Bull uh, ladder rail covers on there just to make it a little bit more comfortable when you actually get on the rifle. That way when you index your thumb, you're not hitting rails, you're getting something soft. Um, as well, uh, up top for optics, um, this is the EOTech 512. Uh, she had a lot of real seal, so this is an actual one. This is going to be the G23, the second generation magnifier right here, um, which not only has EOTech parts, it also has Samson parts as well as ARMS parts. So Samson takes care of the flip right there, so that moves over to the side. What's nice about that is if you are not using this, all you do, index your rifle to the side like that, and you're able to range and scout, bring it back over, and then you're at three times magnification. Um, this also has a QD right here on the side as well. Um, I run the green label PMAGs just because I don't find it uh, fiscally responsible pay, to pay more for an airsoft magazine than a real steel magazine, so I get the 10 packs of the green labels. And they feed fine, haven't had a trouble with them as of yet. Don't let any dust get into them. Uh, that's about all I can say on it. Uh, I had to change the stock on this as well, as well as the buffer tube. This was supposed to use a buffer lipo inside. Wasn't about to go that route, so I went ahead and got one of GMP stocks, and they included a 10.8 battery in there. And uh, got a little uh, Spartan Doctrine uh, barrel extension over there, just because my barrel comes out to about right here, since it's a 18 inch or instead of the standard 14 and a half. But this is what I'll run when I'm just running my, my regular M4 loadout. Um, this is what I call an SPR, Special Purpose Rifle. Anything can shoot full auto past 200 feet would be something like this. And uh, so it's just kind of a quick insight at uh, some of the stuff I run. I'm playing out in the weekends, so uh, if, then this can be done to basically any gun. I mean, I, I started with a GMP platform just because their externals are absolutely gorgeous and down to the T. So, but uh, if you ever need anybody at uh, Omaha Air Tactical to get Anything you have looking like this, check out our website, stop in, talk to boss if you need some gearbox work, and uh, we'll get it ready for you. Thanks for checking out uh, extra special episode of Rock's Personal Armory.